Hello everyone, in this video we are going to talk about affirmative and negative. So the very first, what is affirmative and what is negative? Affirmative means positive sentences. For example, we take He is reading. And if we talk about negative, then it will be He is not reading. So this is affirmative and this is negative. So this was very easy because here was helping verb. So with the help of helping verb, if you add just not after that, it will be changed into negative. So our helping verbs are like is, am, are, was, were, has, have, had. If these helping verbs are coming, then it's very easy to change an affirmative sentence into negative. Simply you add not. Suppose he has done his work. This is affirmative sentence. He has not done his work. This is a negative sentence. So simply just after the helping verb, if you add not, the sentence will get changed into negative. But this is, we are talking about when you have the helping verb. Suppose if you don't have helping verb, then what you will do? So for that, I'll tell you. Very first, you should be knowing what is affirmative and negative. Affirmative and negative, these are the parts of assertive sentence. Assertive sentence, that is a simple sentence. For example, we take, he reads a poem. This is an affirmative sentence, correct? The negative will be, he does not read a poem. This is your negative. So for this transformation, if you know the tense, what do you know? If you have the information about tense, he reads a poem, which tense is this? This is your present indefinite. And in present indefinite, if you want to change affirmative into negative, there is a rule subject plus do or does plus not plus verb first form plus object. So now you see here. Our subject that is he do or does the subject is singular so in case of singular we use does helping verb he does not then verb first form read one more thing whenever do or does comes as helping verb in the sentence we do not use s or es with the verb you see here, in the read, there is S here. But when we make the negative, he does not read a poem. The S or ES is there, it gets removed. So it was a talk for the conversion of affirmative into negative when it was in present indefinite. So and we were talking about that affirmative and negative are the parts of assertive sentence. So... Assertive sentence has two parts. The first one is affirmative and the second one is negative. We took one example also like he is reading and negative 
he is not reading so if you have the helping verb in the sentence that is is here helping verbs are like is am are was were means if these helping verbs are coming simply you just write after that not the sentence will get changed into negative as here he is reading he is not reading but suppose if we take example in which there is no helping verb in the sentence for example he reads a story so this is your affirmative sentence but here is no helping verb in the sentence so how you will change it into negative for that you should be knowing the rule the rule is what that is subject plus do or does plus not plus verb first form plus object subject what is our subject here he he is a singular subject so what we will use here does do is used with plural subject and does is used with singular subject he does not after not what will come verb first form that is here read he does not read a story so did you notice one thing when i write here read here it is written reads so what is the rule behind that whenever do or does will come as helping verb in the sentence if there is s or es in the verb we will remove as do is coming we know it's a plural helping verb but in case if does comes and there is s with the verb so you will remove s or es will not be used whenever you use does as a helping verb so this was the conversion of affirmative sentence into negative when it was in the tense present indefinite so this was the affirmative and this was negative now we take one example which is going in past indefinite because the rule is somewhat different in past indefinite before we go in past indefinite we take one more example and it is somewhat different from that i read a poem so now you see here in which tense is this sentence going if you say present indefinite yeah correct because read that is the first form but if i say it is going in past indefinite so what is it wrong no then also it is correct because when we write i is treated as plural subject i is a singular subject we know but it is treated as plural subject and we have studied about subject verb agreement what does subject verb agreement states then that whenever third person pronoun whenever third person pronoun will come and that should be singular for example he she or it s or es will be used with the verb correct according to subject verb agreement if any third person singular pronoun comes for example he she or it or any name then you will use s or es with the verb but if we see i i is a first person pronoun so this agreement or rule doesn't imply on first and second person 
therefore we do not use being i a singular subject i is a singular subject then also we will not use s or es with read because it is not following the agreement which is made between subject and the verb therefore because of this reason only this sentence can be taken in present indefinite and past indefinite both so now we go for making the negative we can make both in present indefinite also and past indefinite but when we speak this sentence suppose i read a poem this is a present indefinite but if i say i read a poem then it will be past indefinite so when the person is speaking or talking it depends on the meaning what he mean to say but if it is in written form you can either make in present or past so first we will go for the conversion of negative in present just now i wrote the rule what was the rule we will write it again so it may be memorized the rule for making affirmative to negative in present indefinite is subject in present indefinite subject plus do or does plus not plus verb first form and plus object so here our subject is what i and along with i what you will use do i do not and after that verb first form read a poem so this was your conversion of affirmative into negative when we treated it as in present indefinite but if we treat or take it in past indefinite the rule will be subject plus did plus not plus verb first form plus object so i read a poem the negative will be first subject i did not read a poem so here it is same because read is the first form read is the second form and read is only the third form so to understand better regarding past indefinite we take we will take one more example of past indefinite so these examples if i am writing if you want to write you may mention these notes in your note also there is no problem they will help you in your further classes they will help you in your further classes in studying too suppose we take example he wrote a letter why i am taking this another example because i want to explain you one more thing when did comes as helping verb we always use verb first form and actually in our previous example the first second and third form was same that was of read 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 so we are taking another example like he wrote a letter this is in what this is an affirmative or you can say positive sentence once again i write the rule so it may be memorized in your mind properly subject plus did plus not correct plus verb first form plus object so here our subject is what he with the helping verb did there is no problem because it is used with singular and plural both it is same so he did not in verb first form this is wrote wrote is the verb second form first form of the wrote is what write he did not write a letter so i think so now you understood what is affirmative sentence and what is negative sentence if you don't have the helping verbs you have to keep you have to keep in your mind only two rules which i told regarding present indefinite and past indefinite because in all the other tense if you see the categories which are coming they are having helping verbs in them 
So if helping verb is there, you can simply add not and the sentence will get changed into negative. So you have to keep only two rules in your mind while making conversion if the sentence is going in present indefinite or past indefinite. We will also talk about interrogative sentences. This you understood what is affirmative and what is negative. We will talk about one more category of the sentence that is interrogative sentence. As it is clear from the word, interrogative means question making. The sentence is which ends at question mark. But suppose if I give you any sentence and then you have to change it in interrogative. We take the previous example like he writes a story. This is in what? This is an affirmative, positive sentence. And you have to change this in interrogative sentence. So how you will change? For this there is a rule you have to keep like uh, first of all you will use helping verb that is do or does because this sentence is going in present indefinite. How we come to know? Do you know how we come to know that it is going in present indefinite or past? Because here right is the verb first form and by seeing this thing we can identify that it is going in present indefinite. So the helping verb will be used do or does plus subject plus verb first form plus object plus question mark. So very first we will use the helping verb when we will change affirmative into interrogative. So what the helping verb will come does because here our subject is he. And it is a singular subject. So does, then subject, he, then verb first form, write, then object, a story, and then question mark. So he writes a story, the interrogative for this sentence is, does he write a story? And as I told, whenever do or does will come, you will not use s or es with the verb. It, not, it will not be used. So in this video we came to know about affirmative and negative sentences. Affirmative and negative it is a part of assertive sentences and we can change affirmative into negative, affirmative into interrogative and back conversions can also be done. In our further videos we will discuss more over sentences because it's a very interesting topic also and it is one of the important topic because the sentence comes first in the grammar and afterwards that comes is what that is parts of speech. So you must be having information about all that if you want to make your grammar better. Thank you.